Temperatures are dropping as we move into the winter season, and this is usually the most difficult time of year for the homeless population here in Cleveland. 19 sight of us with how a nonprofit is paying it forward with walls of love. It's always important to think about the homeless. You know, there's a lot of things that we take for granted on a daily basis. Holly Jackson has faced obstacles herself when it comes to homelessness and domestic violence. Today, she's the founder of Walls of Love, the movement now turning four years old and being implemented in 23 different states. Volunteers hang up goodie bags for not just the homeless, but for anyone who needs them. Just essential items such as being able to brush your teeth or wash your body, put on some deodorant, things like that. The cold weather didn't stop this group. I feel good, but I'm also very, very cold. In the span of four years, Walls of Love has helped 925,000 people. Their goal is to be in all 50 states by 2024. And the need definitely exists. Um, we put it up and it's usually pretty empty within a few hours, mostly within 24 hours. Dr. Sarah Stranko's office has donated items this year. It's something she's been wanting to do since Thanksgiving is right around the corner. It's also anonymous. You know, this isn't a governed wall. They don't have to come in and ask anybody for something. They can just come up and get what they need at their own time in their own comfortable way. The message here is simple. Think of those that are outside in the frigid cold on an empty stomach, not knowing when they'll have a bed to sleep in again. COVID has found a lot of people in very tough situations, so we want to be able to give back to the community as a whole. Reporting in Elyria, Saida Abbas, 19 News.